Welcome back everybody. Today I'm back in the studio to do another little tutorial video. I've got the amazingly talented and beautiful Olivia Preston all the way from Canada visiting our shores. Say hello Olivia. Hello everybody. <laughs> so we're going to do like a little lingerie boudoir style shoot today in the studio um, using some Ellen Crom heads and what we're going to try and do is work with some harder edge light and create a few shadows through these Venetian blinds that we've got here. So what we've got set up at the moment is two Allen Crom ELC 500s at the back, which have got the strip soft boxes and grids attached. They're just giving some nice little hair light, which you can see on Olivia there at the moment, and a little bit of rim light over the back of the, the Chase Lounge here as well. So this guy here is going to be our main light, and that is another Allen Crom ELC 500. On the front, we've just got the standard 21 centimetre uh, reflector with a grid in the front. That's going to give us some nice direction to shine the light through these Venetian blinds here. So I'll just set that up, and um, we'll get Olivia to stand up next to the blinds here, and we'll check out our lighting. So that's looking pretty good already. I'll just adjust the height of these blinds just to see what different effects we're going to get. So you can see that those little shadows moving up and down the body there. I want to make sure that we get enough light on her face. That's looking pretty good. And I'll just adjust the height of the light here as well. Angle that down. Yeah, that's looking pretty nice. So I'll just grab my Fuji X-T2 and I'll do a test shot and just see what that looks like. Apologies for the rest of this video being a voiceover because silly me forgot to double check the batteries in my Roadlink filmmaker kit. So this first shot's looking pretty good. Getting some nice light coming across Olivia's body there. There's little shadows caused by the Venetian blinds. There is a bit of an issue when she looks directly at camera because uh, we do get some shadowing on the right side of her face. So just getting her to turn back into the light produces much better lighting on her face. getting her to spin around and face in the opposite direction now. So that light is, from our main light, is coming across her back. Getting a nice amount of spill onto the background as well. Just gives a bit of extra detail in the background so it's not going fully black. It's coming in for a tighter shot now. You can really see that nose shadow if she doesn't have her face pointed directly back towards the main light. shot just showing the Venetians on the right hand side. Getting it to face directly into the light now is a really dramatic sort of shot. So I'm using a um, cutter here just to block the light going onto the background. You can see that it does just creep over the top a little bit and that's creating that little shaft of light onto the background. Just going to get her to sit on the couch now. So I just have to make some adjustments to the main light, just lower it down a little bit and also lower the Venetian blinds down a bit as well. So 
making sure that pool of light from the main light is hitting her correctly. You can see Olivia is a very, very experienced model and can pose independently. She does a fantastic job of just changing pose between shots. Just gonna get Olivia to lie on the couch now. Her natural position was to lie straight on her back but I'd prefer to get her onto her side. Elbow up on the arm of the couch and just drop that top leg over the top of her other leg. Creates a really nice curve in her waist, down her hips and into her legs. Lying on her stomach now, just making sure that she keeps her face pointed back towards the strip soft box on the left hand side of frame. As you can see there, she hasn't quite looked in the right position and we've got shadow going across her face. Looking back towards that strip soft box on the left hand side, now you can see that light just hitting her face really nicely. Just going to get her to kneel up on the chase lounge this time. Just getting her to angle her body a little bit so that it's three quarters onto the camera. So we're not getting full back, but we can easily get her to turn her face around to the side as well. So the beauty of this three light setup is that you can have multiple poses with the model looking in all different directions and still manage to get some beautiful light on the face. In this case Olivia is positioned so that the strip softbox on the left is providing the light for her face. The strip softbox on the right is giving a rim light on her back and hair and we're still getting the light from the main light coming through the Venetians and lighting her back and legs. Getting some really nice light on her back, but also lighting her face nicely as well. Her hair is also beautifully lit with the strip softbox from the right. Just got to make sure that she keeps her face in the right position, otherwise she gets a bit too much shadow across her face. Getting to bring her right hand out from the side so it's not hidden. Turning her face around to the left a little bit more. And now we've got beautiful lighting across her face. Getting her to sit on the edge of the chase lounge now just for another angle, different pose. So this is a really great pose to show what we can do by turning the main light off and just using the two strip soft boxes. We get a really beautiful rim light. This is far more dramatic low key lighting. 
it is very important that Olivia keeps her face in profile to the camera just to make sure that she does get some light on her face. If she turns back towards the camera, it's gonna be very much in shadow. See Olivia wasn't quite in profile, her face wasn't quite lit. Let's get her to turn around a little bit more in a second. So just turning her face a little bit more away, we get a bit more light across her face. All right, that wraps up our shoot. Thank you very much, Olivia. Did an amazing job. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, we got some great images there. I'm really happy with those. I hope you've got a little bit out of that as well. Um, and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, ciao for now. Ciao.